So to get used to living in the camper, I am sleeping in it in my parents' backyard. Last night was great. Tonight the temperature is dropping. It rained all day, no leaks, but the wind is whipping outside so aggressively. Um, hopefully, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to expect. The awning is dry rotted and we have it out so that we can remove it this week. But I have a feeling the wind might do it for us later. I just hope it doesn't break it. I don't know. So today, Thorman and I are using my lunch break to take down the curtains and the valances. He loves it in here. I can't get him to leave if I'm in it. Um, as you can see, I also let him do things his parents don't let him do, like get on the seats. But that's because I love the big look. It's just the best. So here we go. There goes nothing. What do you think? Um, I honestly don't even think I'm going to keep these. Like, I don't think I'm going to reupholster them. I think I'm just going to get rid of them and just do curtains. Um, I think it's going to save me a lot of space, especially in the bedroom area where, like, they're just sticking out everywhere. Um, <clears throat> and in the kitchen, it'll just make it feel a little bit more open. So that's my plan. We're going to keep doing this but you don't need to see it every time. Finally remembered that all of my tools are here at my parents' house, so I don't have to manually unscrew all of these. <sighs> Y'all, my brain is not what it needs to be. Remember how I said my brain wasn't working the way it needed to be? Well, you're about to watch that in action, but let me tell you a little bit why. I got here Sunday, my stepdad apparently quit drinking coffee, but mom was like, don't worry, there's coffee in the freezer, pulled down the maker. Three days, I had a migraine. Monday, well, four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Thursday, as I'm staring at the coffee pot while it brews, I learn that uh, it's been decaf that they've been giving me all along. So, that was great. Look at that. <laughs> it's like paper. Are you sure that's not cardboard? <laughs> I mean, that thing must be a hundred years old. I mean, it probably is, Bob. Good night. So Bob came home and helped me finish measuring the awning so that I can buy an appropriate replacement. He also destroyed the awning that I currently had. So we decided to take the whole thing off. Um, he also went inside and ripped some of the valances out of the wall and will patch the holes, so that was efficient. You know what? The other day I gave him a bath and I dried him off with the towel. And he always likes to grab the towel when I'm done. Yeah. That's his treat. Yeah. And I got his my roll chair. I got my chair and I let him pull me around in the shop. He was just pulling me around in that chair. Watch that thing, man. <laughs> watch that thing. Watch that thing. You better watch that thing. <laughs> 
Give me that thing. Give me that thing. Give me that. Give me that thing. Watch it. Nice and heavy. Get it. Oh, he's got a bite on it now. You ain't gonna get it from him now. You can forget it. You hear you hear that tearing? That's what he likes to hear. Ripping. Hear him. He likes, he likes to hear he likes to hear that. <laughs> he's got a bite on it now. He ain't going nowhere with it. Oh, we take it off from the top? You gotta take that off too. Oh, the top fabric part, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> What's up, Joe? I said it's demo day! Chip games ain't got nothing on us. Throw me in, what you think? He has zero Ups. Go back down. I'm... You can't see that bubble. I see it. I'm going to right, stay right there. It looks but it's crooked. Really crooked, Bob. Well, you see, I got the, the level says no. But, yeah, but I see but what you're talking this, about. It's crooked. Well, let's just I tell me when. Okay. It look good right there. No, no, it's still too hot. There, there. right there. I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. Right, language, language. Get out of there. Ah. You and Thor, get out of there. Okay. Thor. Yeah, I got it. Let go of it. Okay. Sir, yes, sir. You see how I am so excited to announce that I have finally decided on a name for my camper, and it is drum roll, please. <laughs> Lucille, aka Lucy. That was my gut instinct when I first got her. And then um, I had asked my mom, you know, what do you think that I should name her? And it was like, she's like, well, I wanted to say, but I didn't want to influence. And then she said exactly what I thought. Um, and so given the 19, 1950s retro vibe, with the red, we're going with Lucille, AKA Lucy. Um, so that is how she shall be referred to um, from now on. So I'm really excited about that to finally have like landed on her identity. Um, so yeah, so this week we basically, we just got all the cabinet doors up. Um, we took a lot of the valances down. Um, Bob did a few repairs on one of the windows um, that had come loose in the like valance removal process. Um, I am gonna keep a couple of them. My mom had some good ideas on how to repurpose them. Um, I do have to finish a couple of the drawers and the bathroom door, which we finally got off. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work and I was really overwhelmed with how much we were able to accomplish in one night with three of us instead of just me with a handheld screwdriver um, trying to do the things on these screws that were painted over and stripped. So um, that's it for this week. 